episode 9 unit 3 dielectrics in this unit we will discuss about electrical polarization mechanism of polarization optical molecular and interfacial polarizability classification of dielectric materials piezoelectric pyroelectric and ferroelectric materials temperature and frequency effects on dielectric materials finally applications of these materials in this episode 9 we will discuss about introduction of dielectric materials and fundamental definitions in dielectrics and also discuss polarizations first i will introduce what is dielectrics dielectrics are the materials having electrical dipole moment permanently or temporarily by applying the electric field these are mainly used to store electrical energy and as electrical insulator all dielectrics are electrical insulator but all electrical insulator need not be dielectrics for example the vacuum is a perfect insulator but it is not a dielectric the function of any insulator is to prevent the flow of electricity through it when a difference of potential is applied across it ends the study of dielectric is essentially the study of insulators in dielectrics all the electrons are bound to the parent molecule and there are no free charges further at the ordinary temperatures the electrons cannot be dislodged either by thermal vibration or by ordinary applied voltages generally the dielectrics are non metallic material of high specific resistance and have negative temperature coefficient of resistance with this introduction we will move on to fundamental definitions in dielectrics first we will discuss about dielectric constant the dielectric characteristics of a material are determined by the dielectric constant or relative permittivity of the material the dielectric constant determines the share of the electric stress which is absorbed by the material it is the ratio between the permittivity and the medium and the permittivity of free space epsilon r equal to epsilon divided by epsilon c the dielectric constant epsilon r has no unit and it is measure of the electrical polarization in dielectric material next one is electric polarization when an electric field is applied to a crystal or a glass containing positive and negative charges the positive charges are displaced in the direction of the field while the negative charges are displaced in the opposite direction this displacement produces local dipole throughout the solid thus the process of producing dipoles by an electric field is called polarization in dielectrics next one is polarization vector polarization vector denotes capital letter p it is found that the strength of the induced electric dipole moment is proportional to the applied electric field mu equal to alpha e where alpha is the constant of proportionality and called the polarizability if mu bar is the average dipole moment per molecule and capital n is the number of molecules per unit volume then the polarization of the solid is given by the polarization vector capital p and it can be written as capital p equal to capital n mu bar so the polarization vector capital p is the dipole moment per unit volume of the electric material the next important fundamental definition is electric displacement vector the electric displacement vector denotes capital d 
द एलक्ट्रिक डिस्प्लेमेंट वेक्टर आर एलक्ट्रिक इंडक्शन कैपिटल डी इज ए क्वांटिटी विच इज वेरी कन्वीनियंट फंक्शन फॉर अनालिस द एलक्ट्रोस्टाटिक फील्स इन द डलक्ट्रिक्स अंड इज गिवन बै फॉलोविंग इक्वेशन कैपिटल डी ईक्वल टू एप्सला इन टू कैपिटल इ That is equal to epsilon naught capital E plus capital P. From this one can get P divided by E equal to epsilon minus epsilon naught. That is equal to epsilon naught into epsilon r minus one. This quantity capital D is similar to the magnetic induction capital B in the magnetism. Further the electric displacement vector capital d has the remarkable property that is source are only the free electric charges next fundamental definition is electric susceptibility the electric susceptibility is denoted as chi base e the polarization vector capital p is proportional to the total electric field intensity capital e and is in the same direction of capital e therefore the polarization vector can be written as p capital p equal to epsilon naught chi base small e into capital e where the constant chi e is referred as the electric susceptibility and is a characteristic of every dielectric therefore chi equal to capital p divided by epsilon naught into capital e that is also equal to epsilon r minus 1 epsilon r equal to 1 plus chi e this is the final form of electric susceptibility next we will discuss about the important topic electric polarization and its different types different types of electric polarization polarization occurs due to the several microscopic mechanism particular in the dc electric fields the macroscopic polarization vector capital p is created by four types of microscopic polarization mechanisms first one is electronic polarization second one is ionic polarization third one is orientational polarization finally fourth one is space charge polarization first we will discuss about electronic polarization the electronic polarization is defined as an electric strain produced in an atom due to the application of electric field it is the result of the displacement of positively charged nucleus and the negative that means electrons of an atom in opposite directions on the application of the electric field this kind of polarization is present in all materials further it is proportional to volume of the atom in the material and it is independent of temperature calculation of electronic polarizability consider an atom of a dielectric material is placed in a dc electric field capital e since the nucleus and electron cloud of the atom have opposite charges they are acted on by the opposite lorentz force in the presence of the electric field the nucleus will move towards the field direction and the electron cloud will move in the opposite direction of the field when the nucleus and electron cloud are shifted from their equilibrium position an attractive coulomb force is created and it will be tend to maintain the original equilibrium position but the lorentz force will tend to separate the nucleus and electron cloud of the atom from their equilibrium position finally a new equilibrium will be reached when these two forces are equal and opposite when their is no external electric field the centers of electron cloud and nucleus of the atom are same and one when the field is switched on the electron cloud center gets a displacement x with respect to the center of the nucleus we can assume that the negative charge in the electron cloud is uniformly distributed 
power a sphere of radius capital R and the spherical shape of the electron cloud is not altered on the application of the electric field. Therefore, the charge density of the charged sphere is equal to capital Z small e divided by 4 by 3 pi capital R cube where capital Z e is the total negative charge. In our problem the sphere of the radius small x is also situated inside the same sphere of radius capital R. Total number of negative charges in the sphere of radius small x equal to minus Z e 4 by 3 pi x cube divided by 4 pi capital R cube that is also equal to minus Z e small x cube divided by R cube. According to the Gauss theorem, the Coulomb attractive force on the displacement nucleus is due to the number of electrons in the sphere of radius small x. So the Coulomb force between the nucleus with positive charge capital Z e and the electron cloud which is displaced at a distance small x from the center of the nucleus is given by following equation minus capital Z e x cube Z e divided by R cube divided by 4 epsilon naught x square is equal to minus Z square e square x divided by 4 pi epsilon naught R cube the Lorentz force between nucleus and the electron cloud is given by capital Z small e capital E. Under equilibrium conditions, the Coulomb attractive force and Lorentz repulsive force are equal and opposite. Therefore, the equation shows capital Z small e capital E equal to capital Z square small e square x divided by 4 pi epsilon naught capital R cube that is gives capital E equal to capital Z small e small x divided by 4 pi epsilon naught capital R cube due to the shifting of the electron cloud the amount of induced dipole movement is given by mu equal to capital Z small e small x but from definition mu equal to alpha base small e into capital E therefore capital E equal to capital Z small e small x divided by alpha base small e from this equation capital E equal to capital Z small e small x divided by alpha base small e that gives capital Z small e small x divided by 4 pi epsilon naught capital R cube therefore alpha base small e equal to 4 pi epsilon naught R cube Faraday meter square therefore the electronic polarizability alpha e is proportional to the volume of the atom and the normal temperature it is independent of temperature the next one is ionic polarization the ionic polarization is due to the displacement of cations and anions in opposite directions and occurs in an ionic solid this displacement is also independent of temperature it does not occur in typically covalent crystals such as diamond suppose an electric field is applied in the positive x direction then the positive ion move to the right and negative ion move to the left we assume that there are one cation and one anion in each unit cell of that ionic crystal due to the ionic displacement the resultant dipole movement per unit cell mu equal to small e into x1 plus x2 where x1 is shift of positive ion and x2 is shift of negative ion with respect to their equilibrium position due to application of static electric field the force produced may be taken as capital F Newton and restoring force on positive ion B beta 1 x1 and restoring force 
on negative ion B beta 2 x 2 here beta 1 and beta 2 are restoring force constant which depends upon the mass of ion and angular frequency of molecular in which ion are present therefore under equilibrium capital F equal to beta 1 into x1 it is also equal to beta 2 into x2 therefore x1 equal to f1 by beta 1 that is also equal to small e ca into capital E divided by small m omega naught square where small m is equal to the mass of the positive ion further capital F e is equal to small e into capital E and beta 1 is also equal to small m into omega naught square similarly for negative ion x2 equal to e small e into capital E divided by capital M omega naught square where small m is equal to the mass of the negative ions. The ionic polarizability alpha is inversely proportional to the square of the natural frequency of the ionic molecule and to its reduced mass where reduced mass in mathematically equal to 1 by capital M plus 1 by small m whole power minus 1. The next topic is orientational polarization. Orientational polarization due to the presence of polar molecules in the dielectric medium. Polar molecules have permanent dipole moments even in the absence of electric field. When an electric field is applied on the dielectric medium with polar molecules, the electric field tries to align these dipoles along its direction. Due to that, there is an resultant dipole moment in that material and this process is called orientational polarization. Let us see the difference between polar dielectrics and non-polar dielectrics. First we will see polar dielectrics. They have permanent dipole moments even the absence of an applied field. There is absorption or emission in infrared range for the molecules of polar dielectrics. The polarization of polar molecules is strongly temperature dependent. They do not have center of symmetry. Example HCl, H2O and CO. Next we will see about non-polar dielectrics. They do not have permanently dipole moments but they have induced dipole moments in the presence of an applied field. There is no absorption or emission in the infrared range for the molecules of the non-polar dielectrics. The polarization of non-polar molecule yield is independent of temperature. They have center of symmetry example O2, H2, N2. Since the polar molecules have permanent dipoles, they align their dipole in the field direction with an atom decrease in potential energy. The phenomenon is similar to the alignment of permanent magnetic moments of atoms in a magnetic field giving rise to paramagnetism. Just as a paramagnetism, the orientational polarization is a function of temperature. Following the same procedure adopted in Langevin theory of paramagnetism. That means the derivation is given in the magnetic material episode. In the derivation, instead of magnetic field, use electric field and magnetization, use oriented polarization. One can get the oriental polarization capital P base naught equal to capital N mu bar. Alpha naught equal to P base naught divided by capital N capital E. That is also equal to mu square divided by 3 kT. Thus the orientational polarizability alpha naught is inversely proportional to the absolute temperature of the material. The next one is Space charge polarization. Space charge polarization occurs due to the accumulation of charges at the electrodes at the interface in multiphase dielectrics. This is possible when on the phases present has much higher resistivity than other. 
it is found in ferrites and semiconductors since the value of space charge polarizability is very small when we compare it with other types of polarizabilities the total polarizability of a gas alpha can be written as alpha equal to alpha base e plus alpha base i plus alpha base naught that is also equal to 4 pi epsilon naught capital r cube plus small e square divided by omega naught square into 1 by cap capital m plus 1 by small m plus mu square by 3 kt the total polarization capital p is equal to capital n alpha capital g this equation is known as langevin d by equation the next topic is frequency and temperature effects on polarization on application of an alternating field across the material the polarization process occurs as a function of time electronic polarization is extremely rapid and is complete at any instant of time even when the frequency of the voltage is very high in the optical range thus it is occurs at all frequencies but ionic polarization is slower and the ionic do not respond at all when the voltage correspond to visible optical frequencies that is the electrical field here is the change too rapidly for the ions are reorient themselves in response to the field each time it is reversed so that the ionic polarization does not occur at visible optical frequency the orientational polarization is slower than the ionic polarization and occur only the electric field frequency which are smaller than the infrared frequency space charge polarization the slowest process and occurs only at power frequency that is 50 to 60 per second thus at low frequency the value of the total polarization is very high and at high frequencies that means optical frequency the value of the total polarization is very small usually orientational polarizability depends strongly on temperature whereas the electronic and the ionic polarizability are practically independent of temperature for normal temperatures normal temperatures will be oppose the permanent dipoles to align in the field of direction but higher temperature facilitate the movement of ions and molecules so that a given polarization process which is not possible at higher frequencies at normal temperatures can occur at high frequencies at elevated temperatures next we move on to dielectric laws when a dielectric is subjected to the ac voltage the dielectric energy is absorbed by the material and is dissipated in the form of heat the dissipated of a energy is called dielectric loss dielectric loss is an engineering problem involving heat generation and heat dissipation and assume a dominating role in the high voltage application when ac voltage is applied to perfect insulator like vacuum or purified gas there is no conception of energy and charging current leads the applied voltage by 90 degree this phase angle is less than 90 degree in the commercial dielectrics complementarily angle ma equal to 90 degree minus theta is called the dielectric loss angle the loss angle is a measure of the power dissipated in each cycle this illustrated most dielectric the angle sigma is negligibly small for a dielectric having a capacitance of capital c and having a voltage capital v applied to it at a frequency f hertz the dielectric power loss is given by capital p equal to capital v capital i cos theta since i equal to capital v by 
x base c where x base c is equal to 1 by 2 pi f c therefore capacitivity resistance to a c cos theta equal to cos 90 minus sigma therefore it is e also equal to sin a sigma p equal to v square divided by capital x base c sin sigma since sigma is very small sin sigma is equal to tan sigma and so p equal to v square 2 pi f c tan sigma where tan sigma is called the power factor of dielectric the power loss is dependent on tan sigma as long as the other factors like voltage frequency and capacitance are constants dielectric loss is increased by the following factors oh, first one is high frequency of the applied voltage second one is high value of applied voltage third one is high temperature fourth one is humidity when we apply an electric field on the dielectric material the position of the atom or molecules of the dielectric material are distributed relaxation temp time measures the time required to reach the equilibrium orientation from the distributed position due to the application of alternating electric field when the relaxation time of a polarization process becomes comparable to the period of the ac voltage resonance occurs and the current leads the voltage by 90 minus sigma the dielectric loss or power loss of the material is maximum when the relaxation time of the polarization process matches the period of the ac voltage applied the dielectric losses in the radio frequency region are usually due to the dipole rotation or to ion jumping from one equilibrium position to another that means losses in this region may also be due to small degree of dc conductivity of the material the dielectric losses at low frequencies are mainly due to dc resistivity the dielectric losses in the optical region associated with the electrons are referred to as optical absorption the occurrence of absorption energy in the optical region is the source of the color of material thus the electronic polarization produces power loss at optical frequencies and at low frequencies there is no power loss due to electronic polarization the dielectric losses associated with the ionic vibrations the frequencies of which fall in the infrared region are usually referred to as infrared absorption one can explain the occurrence of dielectric loss in a material through its complex relative permittivity the complex relative permittivity of a medium can be written as epsilon r star equal to epsilon r minus j epsilon r we shall show that the imaginary part of epsilon r double dash gives rise to absorption of energy by the material from alternating field for this purpose consider a parallel plate capacitor field with the material characterized by epsilon r star let the applied alternating voltage produces a field capital e naught cos omega t suppose that at a given instant the charge per unit area on the plate is plus or minus q of t since the flux density is numerically equal to the charge density we must have capital d of t equal to capital q of t this is due to the enormous displacement of ion by the application of electric field and the relative permittivity becomes a complex quantity thus if we use loosely dielectric material in a capacitor then energy loss will be produced and this capacitor with dielectric material may be represented by an equivalent circuit which consists of an ideal capacitance and a parallel resistance the latter being inversely proportional to epsilon r double dash omega the parallel resistance indicates the electrical energy loss in the circuit dear student 
in the episode 9 we discussed dielectrics electrical polarization and classification of electrical polarization and its properties thank you we will discuss the next topic on episode 10